All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gordon Guitar. We have Powerful here, the song called This Array. So this one is about three different chords. And like I showed you here in the intro here, we have different possibilities in how to handle the chords and with the melody and so on. So I'm gonna give you um, all the thing you need to play the song. So let's start with the capo high up here on the sixth fret. And the reason for that is the high notes we want to have with us. So capo on six and let's look at the chords first. The first one will be um, a long name here, F6 sus2. It's very much easier to hold the chord than say it. It's just like this, okay? So it's first fret on the E string the bass, and then third fret on A, and then you have the open D and open G. And try to avoid the last two strings there. We don't need them for the song. So that is only four strings here. That's the F6 chord. All right, the next one is the A minor. Just a plain, simple A minor, standard. That's open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. And then we have another chord here, the A7 sus2. Sounds again a lot harder than it really is. It's just one note like that that you need to hold, and the rest is open. So it's open A string, second D, and then open G, open B, and open E. Like that. All right. So there we have the chord progression for the song. first look at the notes we need to play here so first it starts with this F6 chord so hold the chord as it is and then you're gonna play this so it's basically two uh, rounds of the same notes here so one round will be all right so it's the first fret E string the bass then third A, then open G. And when you play the open G, you have a short pause there, and then comes, sorry. Like that, yeah. So it's open D, open G, and open D. So that's the F6 melody here. So first fret E string, third fret A, and then open G, pause, and then open D, open G, and open D. That is one round, you play for two rounds, so. All right, then we shift to the next chord, which is the A minor, and then you're gonna play like that so it's um, yeah I think the best scenario here is to hold the chord actually as it is and then you're gonna play the open A string then the second D and then you play first B and open E together then back to second D and then again end with first B and open E so that's it for A minor, like this. And then you take the next chord, the A7 chord, and play this part. And that is, hold the chord as it is, open A, second D, and then open G and open B together. Then back to second D you end with open G and open B together. And that's one round of the melody. So it goes like this slowly.
You can play this with the picking I just did. You can also play it with short downs. That means you know where the notes are and you can play and incorporate uh, a string, um, another string with the note you actually try to hit and emphasize a good sound, something like this. there I'm not playing just the actual note I'm playing strings around it but uh, where if you know where the note is you really can try to emphasize that one and just give some support with the strings around it so uh, that's a way of playing this uh, exactly the same melody you can say and we'll also look at now how we can play the strumming pattern so grab this f6 uh, sus2 chord like this and the strumming pattern will be down up down up clap up down up okay so like this is one round okay so again down up down up clap up down up one round down up down up clap up down up you're gonna play f two rounds a minor one round and the a7 one round so sounds like this this ray that's how you play the song so good luck with this one guys and play tune